Thanks very much, Rich and Rich. Ed, it's a pleasure to be here tonight and to tell you a little bit about the Inland Empire Civil War Roundtable. Uh, we've already received a compliment tonight on our logo, and I guess I can start with two things. What's on? Cut off all the voices. Where is the Inland Empire? Well, we're in Southern California. We are in an economic uh, geographical area of Western Riverside and San Bernardino counties. So the people in Southern California know us as Inland Empire. Uh, our round table is headquartered in Redlands, California, which is halfway between Palm Springs and Los Angeles along the Interstate 10. Uh, a few years ago, we decided that we needed a, a logo and we wanted it to uh, reflect our area. So we, uh, uh, our, our vice president at that time, uh, went ahead and uh, had this created for us. Uh, basically, it shows the mountains in the background, which uh, we have a lot of them around here. It shows the citrus uh, groves that we have in our area. And we used to have a lot of them. Uh, it also show, shows the orange with a kepi on it. So um, that is our logo. And uh, our round table was created in 1987. And the early history is not well documented. Uh, I joined the round table uh, shortly before I retired in 2017. And we meet in the Lincoln Memorial Shrine on the grounds uh, of the A.K. Smiley Public Library in Redlands. And if you don't know about the Lincoln Memorial Shrine, it is the largest collection of Abraham Lincoln memorabilia and Civil War memorabilia west of the Mississippi. So if you ever get a chance to come out to uh, Southern California, you want to travel out to us, I'll be happy to give you guys a tour of that amazing museum. We have a lot of original artifacts there uh, from signed by Abraham Lincoln. So it's, a, it's an amazing place. Uh, as I said, we, we used to meet in the shrine, but now they're uh, changing exhibits out on a very regular basis. So they've just moved us across the grassway to the main library there. Uh, when I joined, our average attendance was anywhere, I guess, between 12 and 15 people. Sometimes we had eight, sometimes we had 20, but it was usually in that 12 to 15 uh, group. And uh, I became the secretary in 2020. And at that time, the round table was really not well organized. We, we had no bylaws. We didn't have a vision statement or a mission statement. And we really had no real sense of who was and who was not a member. So uh, by the guess of the treasurer in 2020, we had about 20 people who were paying dues. Uh, we had a contact list uh, that we had acquired from the library that may or may not be people interested in our group of around 81 people. Uh, but there was only 20 members and we were sending out newsletters uh, to all those folks uh, each month with no idea if they were being received or not. So one of the first tasks that we wanted to do was to clean up our, our list. So we sent out mailers and follow-up mailers, just uh, uh, a lot of them came back as undeliverable uh, so we we got that list cleaned up. And um, COVID shut us down as that did everybody else in March of uh, 2020. And there was talk at that time about maybe just closing the round table or changing it into a round table of all the wars that America has fought in. And that idea really didn't suit well with the existing members. So uh, we decided not to close it down, but when COVID hit us, it was a real challenge. So a few months into that, uh, I looked into Zoom. I was spending a lot of time on YouTube 
And there was a lot of good Civil War stuff there. So I started doing uh, Zoom presentations for the first uh, four months after we started. I was showing uh, each month, I was showing two 20 minute, 25 minute presentations to, to people. And people got interested in that. And our membership uh, contact list grew. And that really was the rebirth of our, of our round table. Uh, in, two, in April of 2019, we established our first mission statement. And a year later, in August of 21, uh, we had our first bylaws. In, uh, in July of 21, I was uh, contacted by Fernando. And he said, you know, I've got an idea that I would like to create a uh, Facebook page about the American Civil War, but send it out to Spanish speaking people throughout the world. And I said, oh, that's a good idea. So I offered Fernando, I says, if you wanna host some organizational meetings, I'd, I'd be happy to have you use, uh, you know, our Zoom and we can get this thing rolling. And he says, well, yeah, I would appreciate that, but I need to warn you. The Spanish speaking people, when they get into a room, they have a tendency to talk. So he says, you're used to having round table meetings that last an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. And he says, get ready, because <laughs> this thing can go on for three hours and four hours. <laughs> and it did. So the first, uh, I think we had four or five of these organizational ones. And uh, finally, he uh, Fernando was uh, successful in establishing Guerrera Civil Americana in Espanol. So it is a uh, website dedicated and devoted to sending the uh, Spanish speaking people throughout the world uh, information about the American Civil War. And he's done a fantastic job. I think he's got over 3000 followers now. Uh, in January of 22, uh, I had reached out to the other five round tables in Southern California and had a meeting with them. And I said, you know, we're all suffering from, we all have the same common problems. So why don't we get together, form an alliance and see what we can do to benefit each other, share practices, uh, promote each other's events. So we were successful in, uh, that was in January, I think, of 22. Mike, we were... got two minutes. Okay. Well, you cut into my time for a minute before we started. <laughs> so, no, I told you we're strict on time. Come on. Okay, now I got less than two minutes. Okay. Anyway, we established that uh, we had our first presentation to all of our group in June of 22. Uh, we've had three since then. Uh, the Alliance is also... Uh, been at the largest reenactment of Civil War uh, reenactors in Southern California for the past three years. We've created a sister relationship with Pasadena and Old Baldy. Uh, in 22, we were awarded the Civil War Congress John Bramble Phoenix Award in recognition uh, as the roundtable that has risen from the ashes. Um, last year, our members did a uh, Cat, were cast members of a promotional video by the American Civil War Congress. Uh, and now we're helping to form, uh, co-found the African American in the Civil War Era Roundtable. And this will be a, a, a national roundtable. So that's, uh, we, we are now a legal roundtable, but uh, we're starting to have our first presentation here in a few months. Uh, this year, we'll be doing Reefs Across America and starting the celebration of our 40th year. Our membership has gone from 20 in, 19, uh, in 2020 to currently 73. So I want to thank, uh, I want to thank everybody for uh, allowing me to tell you a little bit about a roundtable. And with that, I'll turn it back to Rich.